G'day guys, Glenn VK for NGA. Uh, I just want to show you the best way to put um, PiStar image onto your SD card. So if you've got one of these little puppies, Raspberry Pi Zero uh, with a um, MMDVM modem, then uh, you can see I've got the um, got the card in the reader. Uh, if your PC's got a card reader, happy days, but uh, mine doesn't. So um, where to get the um, image from is if it's for one of these, then the image you want is this one here. That's the current one. So Pi-Star RPI V3.4.17. Um, if you've got a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, then you need to go to the beta section and select this one here. Pi Star RPI version 4.00 RC3. Okay, so I've already downloaded this one here. <coughs> And it's a zip file, so I've unpacked the zip file and I'm ready to go. There's a couple of processes um, to doing this, but I want to show you the whole process, including putting your Wi Fi file on there as well. So the Wi Fi file is, um, I'll just go here into PyStar Tools. Wi-Fi Builder, right, we'll look at that in a little while, <clears throat> I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so, let's uh, put the um, card reader in, so just straight into the USB port there, and this card's already got um, PyStar on it so that comes up but if your card is fresh you don't need to um, you don't need to format your card first I'm going straight over an already installed PyStar we use Bellina Etcher now let me tell you about Etcher I'll just open it Etcher is um, fantastic because what it does is it formats the card writes the image to the card then it ejects the drive so it does the lot now a lot of guys uh, see on uh, the groups are uh, using different different software for me this is the best software because it's the easiest to use and it's really foolproof and it tells you if there's a problem with the image as well so we'll just uh, come here we'll just click on select image and there it is there, it's already un unzipped, it's a disk image file. So there's the image. Um, the drive is, uh, make sure that you're flashing the, um, the card reader, won't you? That's for sure, so drive G is right, so you just hit flash. And wait for it to run. So it takes uh, a couple of minutes to go. <clears throat> you can see the uh, progress there. So we'll do this in real time. I'm not going to edit this video so you can see how long it takes. So that's just straight into the um, card reader here. Okay, so this is using um, a Windows 7 computer. This is the main computer that I use for all of my uh, uh, radio related software, code plugs, programming, all that kind of stuff. So this takes a little while to go. It flashes it and then it checks it. Then it ejects it. So it's really good software. You can download this free. Uh, it's just called uh, Etcher, Etcher and 
the uh, company that supplied is Bellina. So if you Google Bellina Etcher, you'll get that. Download it. There it is there. <coughs> No, we're nearly done. It's pretty quick too. This is a 16 gigabyte SanDisk um, Class 10 micro SD. I normally try and use those. Um, I only buy 16 gig because you can't get the 8 gig anymore. You don't need 16, but these are cheap. They're eight dollars fifty on eBay. eBay Australia, that is. Okay, as you see it's unmounting it right now and it says there one successful device now if there was a problem that wouldn't be in green it would be in amber I think and it would say that there was a problem okay now to put so we close that software let's change hands close the software to put the um, this is the important step. You can unplug this, right, and plug it in again. And then the uh, boot directory will come up. If you don't unplug it and plug it in, you'll never get the next step achieved. You won't be able to achieve the next step. The next step is to we'll open the folder. And what we want to do is in the boot directory, we want to yeah, I'll turn that radio down. Uh, we want to um, minimise that. Come in here. Showing you all my files there. Um, when I do the, uh, that's the file there. WPA supplicant. Dot. C O N F. So how you build that file is. You come in and you use the Wi-Fi builder you put in. So there it is there. Just on the menu down the side here to find that. You put in your, um, if you're connecting it to your home Wi-Fi, you put in your SSID and your password and you submit it. So we'll do it. That's not my password obviously, but and then what happens is it'll create a file there WPA supplicant or WPA underscore supplicant dot CONF and you just save the file somewhere on your computer and then you're done so let's minimize that so back up here there's where I saved it so we just copy it And then we paste it here. And this message comes up. Are you sure we want to copy the file without its properties? Just click yes. And there it is there. Okay, so that's in the boot directory of your SD card. So you close the software, or close the window, and close all that. Now, what we've got to do now is we've got to unmount the drive. Don't just pull the card out. Really important that you get that message. So you don't want to corrupt the card. Okay, so it's pull the um Pull the drive out, take your card out, bang it into your um, hotspot and you need to um, plug your hotspot in and let that boot up. So let's do that. I'm just going to put the camera down for a second. I'm going to put that in the hotspot. I'm just
don't know if you can see that, I'm not sure anyway. I'll quickly plug this in. Okay, now, it takes a little while for these little babies to boot up. This is the first time boot up on a fresh card, so the LED, the LED screen won't come on because you've got to turn it on in Pi-Star, so that's part of your configuration. So, I'll just wait for that to boot up. So, on boot up, you'll have the uh, light in the uh, little gap here. Raspberry Pi light will be on. be flickering and carrying on. There it is there, if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. And the green LED will be on full time and the red will be flashing slowly. You can just see it there. <clears throat> so we'll um, throw up to the browser. Okay, so I know the uh, I know the IP address of this hotspot because I've done this already. So might be too soon. Yeah, it's, it hasn't booted up yet. It can take uh, anywhere up to around four to five minutes to boot completely into Pi-Star and also get onto your um, Wi-Fi network for the first time. After that the boot process is a bit quicker, but it's still searching for it there. Sure, I've got the right IP address. I run uh, IP addresses. There it is. Okay, I run IP addresses um, as part of my browser. You can see here I've got Pi Star build, so that's the hotspot that I'll be that I'm building next. Uh, Pi Star one, two, and three. I've got three running. So you can see here the um, the window asking for the uh, password, username, and password. So there's the username. Five star password is Raspberry. So we'll no. Okay, and there you go. So we're in. So that's how you do it. Okay, hopefully that's helped you out. Um, to me, that's the easiest way to get your hotspot to the configuration stage. Alright, thanks for watching. 73, VK4NGA.